Tell me, just because you've been able to articulate this better than anyone, Jane Harman was here a little while ago, former uh, congresswoman, who said, this is a national security imperative for America. I mean, for a lot of Americans, Ukraine was not, couldn't find it on a map. Let's be fair. Uh, and that's fine. I understand that because it wasn't, it didn't occur to a lot of people. But why is this a national security imperative that Ukraine does prevail? Um, because if uh, Ukraine, God forbid, does not prevail, Russia will keep on going. We've seen that as a pattern of what Vladimir Putin does um, over the last 20 years. Jo you know, he attacked Georgia, hived off two parts of Georgia in 2008, um, started with Ukraine in 2014, 2015. Uh, there was a ceasefire call, which was not very successful, but it was called. And so he kept a low level war going until he thought the moment was right to start a total war on Ukraine in February of 2022. And if he's successful by being able to keep territories he's illegally taken over the last 15 months, if he's successful in any way, he is going to do the same thing again. He's going to wait, he's gonna rearm, he's gonna regroup, he's gonna rest. And when he thinks the West is looking away, um, he is going to strike again. Um, certainly at Ukraine, but perhaps at other countries as well, if you look at what he has said over um, the last uh, couple of years and certainly what he has written as well. So we know that this the instability would continue, but moreover, um, I think other leaders are also watching uh, what is unfolding in Ukraine and will Russia get away with it? Um, you know, is the West, is the United States standing up for our allies, for um, our interests, for our values? And if we don't, if Ukraine falls, um, I think you can expect um, more of the same from other leaders because we have demonstrated that we are, are not serious enough uh -huh. uh, about standing our ground. And